Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash ValderBeebeShow, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. No. Thank you for joining me on the Valder Beebe yeah, Show. Happy New fun. Year. Yeah, Happy New Year to you too. Well, you guys are here to talk about getting my audience off to a good start. It's the new year. They've got those resolutions. They're going to try to work them at least for six months. So how can we help them? Well, I think, you know, the first thing that you got to do when you get started is you got to make this switch in your mind. You got to move from inaction to action. And you got to really take action and, and take control of your, of your lifestyle and of your health. And so I'm here with Monty, and Monty's a huge inspiration to me because that's really what he did to lose 50 pounds and totally revolutionize and, and kind of upgrade his life. So, Monty, why don't you share about kind of that moment you had with your doctor where it drove you to take all this action? Well, I had kind of a wake-up call. I was feeling pretty down, pretty low energy, and uh, I went to the doctor to get a general checkup, and I found out that I had stage 2 hypertension, which I didn't understand at the time, but I was fairly close to a heart attack, apparently, at 36. Yeah. Um, so I went home and made some pretty major lifetime lifestyle changes pretty much immediately. Uh, threw away a lot of unhealthy foods that I had around. Uh, started a workout regimen right away and uh, quit drinking beer um, and just made some major changes right away. Monty, let me ask you before I go back to the doctor. Let me ask you this. When you get this kind of news, what are you feeling? What are you thinking? Do you think you're going to die or what do you think? Uh, well, it was very scary. I, I didn't necessarily think I was going to die, uh, per se, but uh, I, it was very scary, and I knew that there was some, some action necessary then and there. Sounds good. So I want my audience to hear that. Sometimes they have to hear it from other people in order to see it for themselves. Right. Well, okay. So, guys, let me ask you. So, Monty, you lost all this weight. How do they stay on this track? Well, for me, it was looking forward. It was always looking to uh, what I wanted to become rather than focusing on what I was trying to lose or shed. Uh, so I had a, a vision of what I wanted to, how I wanted to live. I wanted to be an athletic. I wanted to be a, a, a healthy person. And so I focused on that. And I just uh, did, the, uh, did the things that would support that lifestyle, the eating, the exercising, et cetera. So what, what's really important, like uh, kind of what Monty did, was he had this big vision of moving forward of like where he wanted to go, but he was also very tactical kind of in his day-to-day. -day. And so he made, you know, changes in how he ate his meals. So it's, all, it's having that big vision, but it's also making those daily changes. And one of the things that he did was he switched from eating these really big meals to eating smaller meals and then snacking in between. Like he would snack on, on nuts like pistachios at 10 in the morning, have another snack at 3 or 4 in the afternoon. You know, they brought in uh, protein, fat, and fiber, kind of things that he needed for his body that helped him curb and control hunger so that when it came to that next meal, which was going to be a little bit smaller, that he wasn't so hungry and it didn't drive him to overeat. Dr. Roussel, let me ask you. He said stage 2 diabetes, uh, hypertension. What does stage 2 mean? So for someone, if you're just thinking about, you know, Monty even said this, that when he sat down with his doctor, his doctor was like stage 2 hypertension. What does that mean? You know, I think for your viewers, the important thing to know is it's a progressive form of hypertension. And so it's his blood pressure was even, even worse. And I think a lot of people, they call blood pressure or they call hypertension the silent killer because it's not something that people realize. You know, you don't feel like you have high blood pressure. And, you know, high blood cholesterol gets a lot of press and a lot of, a lot of notice from people in physicians, but blood pressure is not one of those things. And it's, it's a huge problem. Dr. Mike Roussel is a nutrition advisor to Men's Health Magazine. 
And, of course, Monty Morris, he's lost 50 pounds. Congratulations on that, Monty. Thanks. So as we continue to go on, uh, Monty's told us a story. You've given us some prescriptions. Let me ask you, but how do they hold that? And the reason why I say that, I, I talk to doctors all the time, and, and, and we just can't hold on to that unless we get a death sentence. If you get a death sentence, most people hold on to it. Yeah, well, you know, I think the, the real thing you need to do is you just need to be committed. And I think focusing on that daily action, like if you wake up in the morning, you're like, what is this one specific thing that I can do today to move me closer to my healthy lifestyle, right? So if you are a snacker, you can move from, you don't eat these, and you're going to snack on nuts, or Monty was really big on trail mix, right? So you take, you don't do chips, and you do trail mix instead, you know, with nuts and, and things like that. So if you can just make that one step and be committed to doing that one thing every day, and then you do two things. Then you do three things. And the thing is, you just can't give up. you got to make that commitment to action every day. Very good. Let me ask you, how do people know what to change their diet to without a dietitian? I don't know how you know what, because what we think is healthy, a lot of times is not healthy. That's true. That's true. I mean, I think there is, there, with nutrition, nutrition is very confusing. But there are some really low-hanging fruit. And I think one of the first ones that Monty knocked off was he stopped drinking calories. So he used to drink a lot of beer, and he swapped out drinking beer. And, and he did it with some really cool stuff. Monty, why don't you tell everybody how you swapped out beer? Because it's, it's kind of an unusual swap. Yeah, I used to, uh, I drink, drank plenty of beer in the evenings when I got home from work. And so when I made this change in my lifestyle, I uh, decided to get a lot of exercise. So I would go out for runs in the evening, and my body started to change and crave different things, a lot of whole foods and, and a whole lot of water. So I started to drink a lot of water and exercise, and that was really my swap. So swapping out those calorie-containing beverages for non-calorie-containing beverages, or in Monty's case, exercise, you know, is a very simple thing. I think you know a lot of your, your listeners and viewers, if you, you were to have them write down five healthy behaviors, I'm sure they could do it. Like the key is just starting. You don't have to be perfect, but you just got to start doing it. I know. I want to thank you guys, because this is such a critical time for me to talk with my audience as I am asking them to change their life. It's yep. simple as that. I'm not telling them what to do. But I'm just saying change your life, especially if it's not working for you. And Monty, you are such a great inspiration. Yes. And the reason why I say that is because most men don't talk about weight loss. It's women who come on the program or women who are in the media about weight loss. So this is a great inspiration to my audience. So I want to thank you, Dr. Roussel. I want to thank you, Monty, for coming on. Dr. Roussel, is there a place online where they can find out more about better health for the new year? Yeah, so if you go my website, which is MikeRoussel.com, um, that has a lot of information, things that we talked about today, but with Monty, uh, my new book, The Meta Shred Diet, just came out with Men's Health. And so those are two great resources to get your, get your audience started to a healthier lifestyle. All right. Maybe it'll take them that six months, and you guys will come back in six months, and we can take them the rest of the way. That'd be awesome. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much.